Hi friends, today we will discuss two more problems related to projections of straight lines inclined to both the planes. Straight away we move on to the problem. Read the question, a line AB 70 mm long as its end A 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of AP. Its top and front views measure 60 mm and 40 mm respectively. Draw the projections and find its true inclinations with HP and VP. So from the question, True length AB, true length of the line AB, 70 mm is given and one end of AB, A is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. So 10 mm above XY reference line and 15 mm below XY reference line in the top view. It's top and front view. So final answer, top and front view is given. Top view of line AB is 60 mm and front view of line AB is 40 mm given. Okay, we have to find the true inclination of the line AB with respect to HP and VP. Okay, so straight away we can move into the problem like uh, XY, VP above XY below H, uh, XY, it is HP as per first angle projection. Now we can easily fix uh, point A in the front as well as top view. In the front view, it is 10 mm above HP. In the top view, it is 15 mm in front of VP. Respect, correspondingly, we can mark A and A dash. So nothing but the locus of A dash and locus of A can be fixed with the help of this data. Now the top view is 60 mm long. So you can draw a line which is parallel to XY at a length of 60 mm. Okay. From this 60 mm, you can extend a projector to identify the true length in the front view. Okay. What is the true length of the line? True length of the line is 70 mm long. Now you can take A dash as center. This A dash as center, 70 mm as radius, draw an arc to cut this projector. Okay. Draw an arc to cut this projector. How we uh, completed this arc? A dash as center, 70 mm long is the true length of the line. So you take A dash as center. 70 mm as radius draw an arc to cut this projector okay after uh, cutting the arc in the projector now we can join a dash and that arc so we can give a name it as b1 in the top view b1 dash correspondingly in the front view now you can join a dash b1 dash is the true length in the front view okay this is the true length in the front view a dash b1 dash is the true length in the front view so you can complete a locus of uh, B dash through point B1. So through point B1, we can complete the locus of B dash. Okay. So locus of A dash, locus of A already we fixed with the help of 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. Now the locus of is B dash is fixed through the point, through the point B1 dash. Okay. Now the front view True length is completed. We will move on to the top view data. What is the top view given? So used top view, uh, already we know the general concept of rotating line method. Whenever there is a line, we have to make it as parallel to XY and then we can obtain the another view. So as per the concept, we used the top view as 60 mm. We used top view as 60 mm. With the help of this, we made parallel to XY. Parallel to XY is we made that top view as AB1, which is parallel to XY. AB1 is parallel to XY. After that, we extended the projector, obtained the another view, front view, true length line. We follow the same procedure for obtaining top view, true length in the true length of top view. So front view given it as 40 mm. So you can take 40 mm parallel to XY. See? So true length of the line is 70 mm. That is what we used as radius, A dash as center and B1 dash as arc, uh, B1 dash as uh, radius, A dash as center, B1 dash as radius. We used to, the, to cut the arc in the projector. So length of the line is 70 mm, true length of the line. Now we can go for 40 mm in the front view. That is a front view length. So from the front view, you can extend another projector to identify the true length in the top view. So, so we can give a name as uh, B2 dash. 
again the same procedure take uh, a as center 70 mm as radius draw an arc to cut the projector okay cut the projector correspondingly in the front view it is b2 dash here it is b2 now we can join a and b2 is the true length of the line ab in the top view true length of the line ab in the top view with this we can fix easily the locus of b through point b2 and which is parallel to xy locus of b through point b2 and which is parallel to xy now the both uh, true length in the front and top view is completed now already we know the data of uh, front and top view so with the help of this just extend these projectors like a dash b2 dash a dash as center b2 dash as radius draw an arc to cut the locus of b dash to identify b dash okay simple a dash as center b2 dash as radius draw an arc to cut the locus of b dash this is our front view of 40 mm length okay front view is completed and next step a as center b1 as radius draw an arc to cut the top view so what is the length of the top view it is 60 mm given in our question so a as center b1 as radius draw an arc to cut the locus of b to identify point b okay so this is point b now you can join a b a b is the top view of the line a b okay so this is the uh, reverse type of problem they have given the top and front view so with the help of that we extended the projector and Are the projections so now the projections is completed find its true inclination with hp so you can identify the true inclinations with hp theta is equal to 31 degree and phi is equal to 55 degree okay use protractor and mark the measure the inclination with respect to hp as well as with respect to vp and you can for identify the answers of inclination with respect to hp theta and with respect to vp phi finally write it down the answer true inclination with respect to hp theta is equal to 31 degree with respect to vp phi is equal to 55 degree okay so 